Hey guys, welcome back to Eric Hepperly Designs, another uh, WordPress tutorial here. This is a conclusion, of, well, the part two of the Duplicator plugin WordPress backup tutorial that we started. Um, notice that in the last one we had an error processing the backup. The reason is because there were too many files uh, making the, the entire archive too too big for it to process on the free version. Now I believe that the pro version doesn't have that issue uh, but you'll have to check that out yourself. So we're just working with the free version here. So the workaround that we have available to us is pretty cool. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and delete this out. This is 224 megabytes. We don't need that. So let's go ahead and delete that. I'll apply it. La -dee -da -dee -da. Okay, that's pretty quick. And now what we'll do is we'll create a new package. But before we do that, let's go over to uh, a website I have open. This is the actual uh, WordPress support forum for this plugin. Now, uh, Corey Lamley, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, he's the plugin author. He's the one that created the plugin, and I was chatting with him a while back. This is me, CodeSlayer2010, another uh, online handle I go under sometimes. Uh, and he explained that what you do is you FTP or, or you know download the entire, um, all the files, the media files and everything, the whole folder. So I'm going to show you how to do that first of all. The best way to do it is to go into your cPanel. Now I don't use cPanel. I use a, a proprietary panel uh, system with my uh, web host 50 webs. And so let's log in. If you've got 50 webs, this may look familiar to you. Uh, I don't believe this is a, a well-known or popular uh, web host, and so it's kind of like a little secret that has been working really good for me. Um, as long as I don't have too much um, web traffic, it's really affordable. I pay $15 a year per domain for hosting and, uh, and the domain. And then I pay about 70 to 80 bucks for a webmaster um, subscription which gives me access to everything I need. Okay, so enough about that. Let's go to the files. We'll go to the file manager. And the website is ericheperly.com. So I'll go to my ericheperly.com domain, click on it, and I'll do download, which will give me the option. I believe it should give me the option to uh, download as a compressed zip file or something. Let's go ahead and here we go. Download compressed as zip. So now that's going to go in. We'll go ahead and pause till that's done. Okay, well, step uh, one completed. The zip file downloaded and it was over 500 megabytes. So you know why it took about five minutes or more uh, to finish. So the next step is to create a database. Um, I'll let you do that on your own. Uh, Pretty easy. Go into my uh, uh, PHP my admin, or go into your cPanel. Create a new database on the website that you want to um, reinstall it to, install it or migrate it to, or however you want to call it. Now, the thing is, uh, in my situation, I'm not migrating from like, you know, HostGator to Bluehost. I'm not migrating from a different host to a different host. I'm actually on the same host, so I just go into my control panel and create uh, a new database on the same, you know, on the same uh, system. But uh, the website, I'm actually going to migrate it to a different domain. I'm going to migrate it from ericheperly.com to eheperly.com. And I have eheperly.com set up as a multi-site website, which is just like WordPress.com. And if you don't know much about multi-site, I made a video about it. I'll link that below. Uh, 
but so I've named it uh, that it's a backup and it's uh, for yesterday and sometimes I do that if I haven't made any changes today I'll give it yesterday's name because I know this is what it looked like yesterday okay so now at this point the next step we've downloaded our zip file we've created our database um, now what we need to do is actually do the backup and so we're going to do what is called the two-part database only backup so you know normally it's going to look like this and all these things are going to be closed and you'll just click next to create the package after you give it a name but in this case what we're going to do is if we go into archive it'll give us the choice under the files tab to do archive only the database and then it gives you some instructions and a little warning here and it says be careful that uh, you're using the, the same database version if you're not using the same database version there could be um, there could be issues and gotchas there so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click next And now, since it's just doing the database, it should be really quick. There we go. So database only, it says zero bytes. We know that can't be true. And then that's for files, zero bytes for files. Okay, so that is true. So, But the database is about 40 megabytes. Good. So we'll go ahead and do a build. And this is going to give us a zip file and an installer. And then what we'll do... I'll go ahead and pause while that's building and come right back. Okay, that really didn't take long at all, just a few seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and download the archive, which is only 6 uh, megabytes roughly. And I'm going to click to download the installer as well. Okay, that's downloaded. Now I'm going to go... Well, let's see. Okay, I'm going to... And we're back. I'm going to just uh, bring you up to speed on, on what we've got going on here. So, I originally was going to use a blog from my multi-site, my recent multi-site that I set up. Uh, and long story short, I just found out it's going to be a lot harder to restore... Um, or even move a blog to a multi-site than, uh, than just to do a separate blog. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and restore it on my local host. That means on my laptop um, where I test sites and stuff. Okay, so I'm, gonna, uh, I'm using WAMP64, so I'm in the www folder. And you notice I just unzipped the 550 megabyte download, full download of ericheperly.com into this folder. Now, before I do anything else, I need to make sure to go in there and copy all that and copy paste it into there. Because if, if it was in that folder, then we'd have one more folder this way that we don't necessarily need. Content, plugins, WordPress. For some reason that didn't come out. Let's copy that. Hmm, interesting. Cancel. Maybe go that way. Ah, huh. That's what's going on. It's not quite done extracting. Oh, I thought it was done. Okay, pause again. Well, I'm not sure uh, how much time we got left, but basically um, that took almost 30 minutes or more uh, to unzip. So here we are. We've got it unzipped. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go and following these instructions, we're going to copy the installer files, which are in the downloads right here. 
copy those over here. And now we can go to installer.php. Let's see. If I go F5 and refresh, now I've got that folder. Come in here. Let's see. Installer.php. Okay, it says pass archive. Click that. Next. And pretty much just click next on that page. Coming through here, we're going to connect and remove all data. So make sure you've got the correct database name because it is going to wipe it out. So I named my database that right there. Come in. Mm -hmm. User. Never do this on a live ser server. I'm using root with no password because it's my local system. Options, none of that. We'll go ahead and test database. Success means it works. And we'll click next and click yes. And I will pause it until it's done. Okie doke, we're back. That took less than a minute. Um, let's go ahead and look at this here. You see this is going to be the URL to navigate um, on my local host. And that's the folder and that's the title. I'm going to say 1030. I'll give it that name so I can differentiate it. Activate plugins. Uh, so you've got two options. If you leave all the plugins activated, it'll install exactly the way you backed it up. If you disable the plugins, it may lose some of your settings. On the other hand, it may be required to disable some of the plugins uh, if you have any trouble. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Okay, the final step is click the admin login. You see it says Step 404. And we'll go ahead and click that, and hopefully we get a good site. Cool, we got the login page. I'll click Login. 